Hi, I'm Emily from the Dog Spotters, and I'm here today with Jay Rosenblatt, a US American filmmaker. How would you describe your film in three words to someone who doesn't know any of them? I would probably say they are personal collage essays. Was there a certain moment when you said you uh, when you knew you wanted to be a filmmaker or was it more like a development? Actually, I think it was a moment. Uh, I was training to be a therapist, a counselor, mental health. And I was getting a master's degree. And I just, for fun, decided to take a Super 8 film class. And I ended up spending more time on this one little class than all my other classes put together. And I just loved filmmaking. And I thought at that point that I didn't know if I would be a filmmaker. I thought maybe I'd make films about um, therapy to help train other therapists, but I knew that I had to keep making films at that point. And which of your memories was the most inspiring for you uh, and for your movies? Well, that's a hard question. Because um, I, I use a lot of my memories and especially childhood experiences for different films. So there's not just one. But I will say that uh, there was a film today, I don't know if you saw Phantom Limb today, you didn't go. Uh, well, that deals with the death of my brother when I was nine years old, he was seven. And I think having a, a tragic loss that young is probably the memory that affected everything I do. A lot of my films are about loss. Uh, sometimes I don't realize it until after I'm done. I'm saying, oh, another film about loss. So I would say uh, his death. Uh, what was the most unusual thing a viewer of your film ever told you about your movie? Oh, okay. Uh, well, you know, the film, you, you saw one of these films, Human Remains, about the dictators. And I showed it at a conference once. And some people got very angry and said, is your next film going to be a promo for Pol Pot? Pol Pot was the head of the Khmer Rouge who killed all these people in Cambodia in the 70s. And this person felt that my film Human Remains was, he was just outraged by it, thought it was inappropriate. And so he was, the, the, the amount of anger, it was a, a Dutch guy. And uh, I was kind of shocked by the response. I thought he completely missed the point of the film. How, do, how did your films change over the years? I make different kinds of films. Uh, the films you saw are all these like collage, um, found footage essays. But um, when my daughter was born, I started making these diary films and what I would call documentary comedies. So that style is... Uh, It, it, it's a different style than the kinds of films I was making. I still make the collage films, but I also have made other films where I shoot footage and edit um, original footage instead of just found footage. It's your uh, first time at the Doc Festival and it's your first time as a jury member. Um, and how is, how is being a jury member here in a uh, difference to being a visitor? Well, this is a very unique jury situation. I've been on many juries on in, all over, uh, many festivals all over the world. Um, I like being on juries. It's, a, it's a interesting and fun. Um, in this jury, I'm the only member. So um, all the debates are happening internally instead of externally. So I have to talk to myself about Uh, which is the winner and who gets special mention. So that's unique. And the, it's, uh, it's strange because I like the jury experience with other people, but sometimes if it's not a good jury, it's not very pleasant. And this time um, the decisions are all my own, so I don't have to worry very much. Um, so it's, it's, it's both good and bad, but uh, mostly good. Do you have free time? Uh, w watching other films at Doc Leipzig or are you even busy? 
I have not seen any film outside of my jury or my own programs yet because I have a lot of interviews, <laughs> which I am very happy to do. Thank you for your time. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. Did it come out? Cut. Yes. I hope so.